Yo, 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 what's good, what's good? For the people who don't know what's going on, bro, go ahead, introduce yourself. Well, if you don't know, it's the motherfucking Doc, Nutty, Piper, straight from the 504, Nola 420, Big Dog CEO in the building, man. What's yeah, poppin'? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, shit, first of all, bro, I appreciate you for sitting down with us. You know what I'm saying? Now, how you get your, how you get your start in the rap game? Um, I got a homie, his name is uh, Concept, and back in, like, 2015, he hit me up and was like, yo, bro, you need to just do, like, five, six songs with me, you know what I mean? And yeah. we did that, it was called, like, New Orleans Trees, yeah. you know, and uh, ever since then, you know, it's been, it's been, it's been up. Right, 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 right. Now, shit, you, what part of New Orleans are you from? I'm from the Magnolia Projects. Okay, that's Uptown, correct? Uptown. Third Ward. 2099 through the South Street. For sure, for sure. That's the same projects where Soldier Slim. Yeah, all of them. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that's TC was next door. Right, right. <laughs> for sure. I just want the people at home watching this yeah, to yeah. understand what's going on. You feel me? Now, uh, what was it like growing up for you there? Um. I mean, I was cool, you know? I was cool with it. Like, I caught where it was all love. It was all family. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, everybody in our court, we was, uh, we looked after each other, you know? And if there was some, some gangster shit about to go down, then these, these dudes was a different type of gangsters, you know what I mean? So, right. we was well out the way. Right, right, you know? right, right. For sure, for sure. Now, shit. So it was it was good. Like it's just a black neighborhood, you know what I'm saying, with a lot of It was popping though. Yeah. It was <laughs> it was popping. Like I and, and like it would be crazy cuz sometimes we'll see like people that be on TV just coming through a project. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, we'll see like some people like, I've seen I've seen uh Mary J Blige. Damn, okay. And it was in the 90s, you yeah. know. Damn. I seen her in the project, you know. Can't see who she was with, you know what I mean, but <laughs> I seen some people, right. you know, growing up, and it was just like always like, damn, that's pretty dope, you know. Nah, for sure, for sure, that's lit. Now, shit, uh, you you get into the music, like, when it when is that? Um, that's that's 2015, 2014, right? For sure, for sure. Like 2014, I probably was just like fucking around, like doing a hella DJ Screw type beats, right? And then the homie was like. Let's do some shit. Let's just do something, you know, and yeah. see what happens or whatever. See if anybody fuck with it. Yeah. And some people, you know, was actually really liking it. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> nah, nah, shit, bro. Like, what, what? If you had to say the type of music you make, what would you say that is? Um, positive, positive music. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no violence. <laughs> You know what I mean? We not we not promoting violence, but we will defend ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Right. But right. um. Yeah, we we just positivity, love. Do you, do you feel like that's, it's a genre for that? Um, that we need to bring it back. We need to cover it. I don't. I don't think it's a genre for what I do. Um, you know, but I think there's different. There's a lot of genres for different types of music, but for what I do, I, I don't think that's really a, a soul genre that you can hit on Spotify and be like, boom, that's that nutty shit right there. You know, yeah. there ain't nothing. I don't think it's nothing like that. Yeah, you yeah. gotta kind of just find a diamond in the rough. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Now, shit, uh, man, you let me hear a, a couple of songs. You got, I would say it's smooth vibes. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's just something to listen to, like really listen to. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of music these days, we not really listening to it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it, like why, why do you think the game has turned to that? If you had to um, say? It's more because the attention spans of a lot of people is real short, I feel like, you mm -hmm. know, and people just want to hear what they want to hear and then go to the next thing. You know, like not everybody's on the, the tip of, well, I want to hear the whole story or hear how the story plays out or see what happens on this person's journey. You know, it's more like, is you popular or is you not? You know what I mean? All right, right, right. Now, shit, what do you think about the New Orleans rap scene if you have to? The New Orleans rap scene? Yeah. Um, I mean, I love my city yeah. and I love the artists. We have some, so much talent in this motherfucker, dog. But, um, I think it's I think it's on the up, you know. As long as we keep striving to push forward and, and keep the bullshit to the side, you know, it's going up, you yeah. know. Yeah, for sure, for sure. If you got to rate it though, where would you say it is right now compared to other markets? Like, compared to the other markets, would you say New Orleans is the top five market in the world? Um, I would say I would say we're we're number one for for talent. 
Okay. You know, I would say we're definitely number one for talent, and we got we got the artists with whatever you need, whether it's rapping or painting or whatever, whatever. Like we got it. Yeah. So you know, it might not be shine like that, but that's what it is.